Several members of the Mobile City Council want to make annexation the process more transparent. They introduced a new ordinance today and they believe it can do that. Our Stephen Moody has reaction for one of the sponsors of that ordinance. And Stephen, they say this is a big step. Yeah, they do, Byron and Linnaeus. An ordinance would be an amendment to the current city code and would open the doors to show people the same thing that city leaders are seeing. After repeated debates on annexation within council chambers, council members William Carroll, Corey Penn, and CJ Small are trying a new approach. They want voters to be able to see more information about the proposed annexation by adding more transparency. That's why they came up with this ordinance. Once we're all unified on a, on a single cause, then we can move the city forward. But until then, it's hard for any one group to trust the other. So with the, with the open and clear, transparent ordinance that shows all the numbers, all the information where it's accessible to everybody in the city, just like we did redistricting, it makes it easier for everyone to have input. It makes it easier for the council to be able to make a decision. So what could potentially be revealed? According to the ordinance, it includes a map of the boundaries as of now, a map of the area being considered for annexation, a list of services provided in that area, including utilities and emergency, and the revenue that's currently being generated. All of this would be revealed through a feasibility study. Everybody has a, a, a level of comfort they gain with the process by seeing a procedure and, and knowing what's happening within the procedure. So it, it makes it clear to everybody that has any questions about anything or any discussions that have been going on. And for Councilman Carroll, this could set a pattern for how the city handles annexation in the future. Annexation doesn't happen every day, but when it does, there needs to be a clear and, and proper procedure and, and process that we follow over and over again so that the community is unified with the same process and we're all looking at the same information and material and we all understand where we're going as a city. Now, the earliest that this could be discussed is next Tuesday during Mobile's weekly council meeting. We reached out to the mayor's office for comment, but they declined until they have more information. Live tonight in studio, Steve Moody, Fox 10 News.